What's going on everyone? Mike here. Thank you for tuning in. Um, today we're going to go over incandescent test lights versus LED test lights. What are the benefits and what you can do with them. And yeah, let's get started. So yeah, we have our LED test light and our incandescent test light. This one happens to be a snap-on one and I'll throw in the part number in the description. This one's a Matco one and honestly I don't have a part number on it, but you can get one at Harbor Frey and it will work just as good. I just saw on the tool truck and I just grabbed it, so yeah. But yeah, um, this one has, you know, your little digital readout display and it changes colors depending on if you're getting power or ground and yeah, pretty much lights up just like a test light should. So, yeah, that's that. This one, it just lights up with, you know, your yellow, orangish glow. And differences, which is, I'll get into that later on, but it'll actually be bright or dim, which is why I kind of prefer the incandescent test light over the LED one. But, yeah. Like I said, later on we'll get more into that, but let's get started on it. So yeah, the LED test light works like this. If you have it hooked up to ground, you're searching for power, and you find power, it lights up red, and that is super hard to see, but that says 12.6 volts on the digital readout, which is good for a car battery or the whole power source voltage. And when you have it hooked up, to power searching for ground you get it light up green and 12.6 volts so yeah that's pretty much it for an LED test light well as far as this one goes now for the incandescent test light it's pretty simple have it hooked up to ground searching for power and you get a nice bright light and if you have it hooked up to power searching ground, it pretty much does the same thing. Yep, see? That's pretty much it as far as a test light works. But I'm going to get into how practical they are as far as diagnosing some circuit issues. So let's get to that. Okay, at this point you might be wondering, yeah, I know how a test light works, so what is the point? Well, here's why. I hook the incandescent test light up and I hook this all up in series. Hold on. There we go. And yes, I'm using a little drill battery. It provides 12 volts, so yeah, it works fair enough for this demonstration. So this is hooked up to battery plus and that's battery ground. Now, if I hook this up and I complete the circuit, nothing's happening. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. The battery was dead, so I have this hooked up into complete series. It's going to actually, if I hook this up, it's going to go through the incandescent test light first, and then it's going to go through the LED test light back to ground. So what will happen? Only the LED test light lights up, not the incandescent one. Why does that? I'll show you. Okay, so I got my ohmmeter here and I hook it up to the test light. And okay. We get 8.6 kilo ohms. And if we look at the incandescent test light, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, you can see the incandescent test light is hooked up. And as you can see, it only has 3 ohms of resistance. Now, the LED test light being such a higher impedance, how does that light up and not the um, incandescent test light? And I'll be 100% honest with you, I don't know. I'm not an Ohm's Law guy. If someone wants to tell me exactly why in the comment, feel free, because I don't know. Okay, this is a very bad demonstration, but... I got a wire going through a washer and a piece of solder. I was just trying to create as much resistance as I can, but 
take this and complete the circuit. And it's hard to do this one-handed. And yeah, somewhat down. <sighs> so and it looks slightly brighter to me but it's really hard to tell yeah slightly now I'll show you what the LED set up in a minute okay here's the same setup with the LED test light and just to show try and get this valid I'm gonna touch the ground side of the battery and I got 11.8 volts and go across here and again I don't have any resistors so I'm just trying to do this and it's not very valid so yeah anyways my point is is that you really can't tell if a circuit has high resistance with the LED test light like you can with the incandescent test light because I know for sure an LED draws less current than a incandescent test light so you know just be more mindful of what you use because most tool trucks are over advertising LED test lights and they do have their purpose you know for computers like I mean I don't really know what you would need a test light for if you can just you know do a continuity ch check to CAN bus wires or whatever the application call, calls for but you get what I'm saying alright my parents are doing yard work and there's a couple dogs walking around the neighborhood alright here's one example this is a computer controlled circuit I found a 5 volt VREF uh, circuit and as you can see I got 5 volts on an LED test light I can pick that up and on an incandescent test light you can't and it sounds like I got something going on so okay so yeah that's one advantage of an LED test light and another example, which actually this will be highly unlikely, but if you're ever in a situation where you need to send power, um, this test light specifically, because this actually has a jump, you know, lead ability. Let's say I hook up here, and I have this hooked up to power, by the way. And as you can see, I found ground, and if I jump it, I can do that. But in any situation I find it highly unlikely but if you ever need to do something like that there you go LED test light however you can't as you can see we just found ground and yeah can't do anything about that but food for a thought and that's gonna be a wrap for that you know you saw it Incandescent test lights have their purposes, um, in my opinion, probably more than the LED test light. And LEDs definitely do have their place, too. Just basically, know what you buy. You know, LEDs are definitely on the market nowadays. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you. And, you know, leave a comment, like, subscribe. And, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned for more.